What's up everyone, I Shot Gamers here with another quick guide to teach you the basics of taming an atlas. Taming is pretty straightforward and easy in atlas. In order to start taming, you'll need to get into the Beastmaster skill tree. You can find it starting off in the first tree, Survivalism. You'll need tools of the trade, then hand-to-hand -hand combat, and that will allow you to unlock Beast Mastery. Once you unlock Beast Mastery, you'll need a few different skills depending on the tier of tames you're looking for. To start, you'll need taming on the top right. Higher levels of taming proficiency will allow you to tame beasts faster, get more taming effectiveness bonus levels, and use less taming foods. I'd recommend getting taming proficiency, improved taming proficiency, and advanced taming proficiency if you can afford the points, but it's not necessary if you don't have them, so don't worry about it. In order to tame tier 2 beasts like bears, wolves, and such, you will need taming tier 2. You can find this on the left below riding tier 2. In order to tame tier 3 beasts like rhinos and elephants, you will need tier 3 taming. You can find this a bit further down the middle row below tier 3 riding. Keep in mind you'll need the appropriate tier riding skill in order to use any of the mounts to gather, fight, or tow a cannon or swivel. There are two main types of taming in Atlas. One is bola taming and the other is passa taming. With bola taming, you'll need to get the beast to low health in order to bola it. Then it'll allow you to feed it the appropriate foods to start taming it by putting it in the last slot of your hotbar and pressing E. Once you bola it and walk near the head, it'll tell you what food it prefers. So even if you're unable to find the info on what food is preferred online, you can simply bola the beast to find out what food it prefers. Some rare exceptions to this are the razor tooth and shield horns that require different foods each time they're ready to eat. Each time you feed the tame, it'll proc a cooldown and you'll have to wait before you can feed it again. Most of the beasts have different timers. The bola will expire after a short time and you'll need to lower its health again and re bola it. Each time you should get between 3 and 5 feeds per bola. The other type of taming is passive taming. Some examples of animals that allow passive taming are chickens, monkeys, and rabbits. Passive taming does not require a bolo. You simply need to put the right food in your last hotbar slot, walk behind it, and press E. Some animals are skittish though and will flee and not allow you to tame if you spook them. For these you'll need the sneak skill in the Beastmaster tree and you'll need to crouch walk behind them and try not to scare them. Now that you understand the types of taming in Atlas, you'll want to outfit yourself appropriately to make taming as effective as possible. If you are bolo taming, you'll need to make sure you have plenty of bolos on you, and I usually use bows and arrows to bring the health down. Bolos are crafted in the tannery. On fragile beasts, I'll use a melee tool to bring them the rest of the way down if it's close. I've had too many lions and such get randomly headshot when shooting them in the back and die when 90% done taming. So be careful not to kill your tames. For bolo taming, I like to build traps when possible. Traps usually consist of a few foundations with door frames around the perimeter and ramps to lead up to them. You can also add gateways to allow you to kite beasts in and then let them out after taming is finished. I also like to build gateways around my tame pen when possible so you're not 90% done and then you have an alpha run up and kill your tame and waste your time. If you're taming larger beasts like rhinos and elephants, you can also use one large gateway with several small gateways and a square around it to tame easily. Run it in the large gate and then close it and then open the small gates to shoot and tame. It won't be able to exit the small gateways. Now that you know all the basic details of taming, it's time to pick your beasts, get the right foods, and start taming. And it's quite a bit faster on official servers on the weekend because they've been doing double taming the past few weeks, and I'd expect that to carry on, so Saturday and Sunday are the best times to tame. In order to whistle commands to your beast, you'll need the appropriate tier command skill as well. I also recommend getting Nature's Cry and Nature's Touch. Nature's Cry is a damage buff that will nearly double your damage and also increase the gathering rate of your beast while active and Nature's Tusk is a heal that could definitely save your beast's life in a dire situation. A few of the beasts I recommend getting first are bears for fiber and sap gathering, elephants for wood, and rhinos for stone. Getting one of each of these is going to greatly improve your quality of life as well as gathering and building efficiency. I often also use my bears just to carry metal and other heavy materials that I've gathered by hand, or to transport materials to and from my ships and such. Bears and horses are great all-around work beasts. I also recommend bears and horses with swivel cannons and NPCs on them. They'll make quick work of invading forces and are essentially aimbots. They are pretty much never miss and they'll slay enemies hiding in bushes that you would never even have seen. Oh, he's the enemy is right next to you. Oh, never mind. Did you see that? Bear and horse cannons will also make quick work of breaking into any land base and are an essential part of any raid. You can also unclaim beasts you have tamed and allow other people to claim them. So if you enjoy taming and have easy access to valuable tames like elephants, rhinos, or bears, you can tame them and then go trade them with other tiles for different tames, resources, or gold. If you learned anything from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. All your support is greatly appreciated and I have lots of other helpful guides like the Fountain of Youth, Building, Boats, 
and die crafting. So definitely go check them out. Links in the description. Thanks, everyone.